What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 8 of my FIFA 13 Road to Gold Around the World series. So as you see on the screen, we are just checking our trade pile. The coal we got in the pack sold for 150 or 250, can't remember. And I'm just relisting these players without the contracts. Eventually I think I may discard them just because they don't sell. But um, guys, thank you very much for the support on these episodes. I really, really appreciate it. We have recently hit 25 subs, which is really, really nice. Uh, thinking about 25 people are watching my videos and just listening to me speaking drivel. But as you see here, we just go and check out our team and see how things are going. Um, fitness and contracts seem to be okay. We got 4,000 uh, coins in the bank, which is pretty nice. We are increasing them coinage and we got three points in our season. So... We go straight into the game for the first game of the episode. As you see there, our team is pretty much complete. 97 chemistry. We just need to change some people into the right formation. We come up against this guy called, not quite sure, but he's got the Man United badge um, and the Man United kits. He's called Buttershaw FC. And um, he's got an alright team. Uh, very All Spanish players there. Um, Slowish defence, I believe. And luckily, Soldado is pretty slow as well. But we... And the 70, it stayed stand still until the 74th minute, and then he got a goal by um, Sueta at the 76th minute in the bottom right hand corner. Tidy finish by him, and I was getting pretty angry. I had quite a few chances, I believe, but uh, I'm not sure who he had in goal, but they seem to be saving them. But I then picked the ball up at the 86th minute, straight from defence, pass it down the line to our right back, pass it up the field. And we go up to Agard, the striker, who kind of a fail of a pass there. I got kind of annoyed there. Um, but I eventually do get the ball back um, sometime. And we, here you go, Trotman, big Trotman, gets the ball there, unfortunately to lose it. But he carries on running. We lovely tackle there to win the ball. One minute plus in the 90th minute, a through ball into Grant, who takes it around Arbeloa. Too pacey for Arbeloa. Um, we come inside, get unluckily tackled there, but he seems to block me off, which is pretty frustrating. But he passes it straight to O'Connor, who cuts inside, does lovely work, cuts back inside, and a lovely finish in the 90th minute in the bottom right-hand corner to make it 1-1, and that is how the game finishes. Um, this guy was very... He, had very he, he was not a bad player. The main threat was probably Pedro on the right-hand side, you see here. Um, he changed him for Munayin, who just seemed to make such a big impact when he came on. But Pedro and Munayin just absolutely pace hauled me. But as you see there, we finished 1-0. Um, we both got late-minute goals. Um, eventually, this match details will come up, and we can see how we did. We got 435 coins. Our um, DNF is going up slowly. As you see there, actually, the game is very, very close. Uh, we ha exactly had the same tackles, possession, shots, and shots on target. Um, everything was pretty much the same. He had a bit higher passing accuracy, but I'm not going to complain for a draw. It's a very, very tight game. So, we got four points now in our seasons, which uh, we started off all right. Um, I believe we have got a loss or a few. I can't record, but 10, 3, and 4. So, 10 wins, 3 draws, and 4 losses. Isn't a bad record for using a bronze team. But we come up and we see that um, Bashira needs some contracts. So we put some contracts onto him. We put Duffy in the team. Um, I'm not sure if I bought him last episode or I forgot to put that in the um, episode. But he cost me about 500 coins, I think. So, And he's got 74 pace, the best centre-back in that league. But we now go on to our next game, I believe. Hopefully to get another win. That will be quite nice. Help boost our points up to about 7 we go into a game and we come up against this guy called Retiring Trout. The um, latency was quite um, on the uh, orange bar, sorry. So I don't normally play games. I can easily get a player in a green bar. As you see here, we eventually come up against this guy called Man Man Mad Man X Numbers. I take time to ready up, but I do eventually ready up. I was just checking if the latency did drop like the other dude. But for some reason, I didn't want to join that game. I'm not... I don't think... Um, I, I don't know, I think my brother was just about to use the computer or something and it would have lagged quite badly. But we come up against this guy and we finally ready up. I didn't quite catch a name. He has the Bayern Munich kit. I've got my black and white stripes. 
He's called Byte 3D. He's got the Bayern Munich badge as well. And we can pretty much suggest he's got kind of a Bayern Munich team. And as you see there, he has... Luckily, he's got Gomez. He's kind of slow. Um, he's got slowish defenders as well. Alaba's pretty pacey. But Bad Stube is just a rock-solid player. And he's pretty much every single player is Bayern Munich. Uh, thank God he hasn't got Neuer in goal because that guy is an absolute tank. But uh, Trotman gets a yellow card with quite a bad tackle there um, in the 15th minute. He passes it up the field. Luis Gustavo find, does some work in the middle, but unfortunately loses it. We then pick it up to Grant, and Grant is just going to do cut inside. Through ball into Agard, and he's just going to finish that very tidily into the bottom right corner for 1-0 in the 18th minute. Pretty good start for the game. He was an alright opponent. Luckily, again, like I've said, he, hasn't, he didn't have the paciest of players, such as Cruz and um, Gomez. So it wasn't that hard. But he still gave me a fight, as you see there, quite a nice tidy goal in the bottom right hand corner. So um, he then kicks off and I, I normally kind of lose goals straight from kickoff. I don't know why, I just don't think or something. But I picked up here, Agard um, does some work to get past the side challenge, throughballs it into Stevens, who is going to cheeky chip that into the net. Lovely save there by his keeper. But... I then pick it up again by Johnson and it seems to freeze. I'm not sure if he uh, disconnected or if he turned off his Xbox. It wasn't like he went into the pause menu or something. But eventually we do disconnect and we luckily get the win. I may have, he may have rage quitted. I was pretty much all over him. I did nearly just score another goal against him. But that was kind of annoying. It was only We only got 254 coins but our DNF is still going up. I'll show you some of the match details here. As you see here, he only had one shot on target. I was pretty much all over him. But that is a still a win. So that is two wins, one draw and one loss. I'm not, I think we need 15 points in total to win this division, which is Division 3, I believe. Yep. So I think once I win this division, I'm going to go and change teams. But as you see there, Agogo had a no contract. And I wanted to maybe see if I could get a more pacey right back. And, and I'm searching Foothead again. Very, very good site for finding players. Um, Ultimate DBNL is also a very good site. But I, as you see there, that guy's got a decent amount of pace. But I found a guy for Dagenham uh, called Hoyt. Um, and he's 700 coins in a 433. Not bad. His other prices were about 1,000. He's got 78 pace. He's a bit pacier than a go go, I think. And he's got better stats. But still, a very, very nice way. And guys, that is the end of the episode. So. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. This has been Chronic Rush. Until next time, adios.